Every year, natural disasters kill around 90,000 people and affect close to 160 million people worldwide. They have an immediate impact on human lives and often result in the destruction of many buildings and basic community infrastructures, including bridges, roads, railways and transmission towers. Natural disasters cause mass displacement. 31 and a half million people are losing their homes after natural disasters every year. This number escalated in recent decades due to climate change and more people living in vulnerable and exposed areas. Mass homelessness after natural disasters is a global problem and therefore requires a global approach to it. There is almost no country in the world that stays unaffected. However, the solutions to this global problem tend to be local, leaving people in danger from the countries that are unable to respond. They use land infrastructure that is often compromised after natural disasters. The available solutions for shelters are either quick to deploy but not durable, or the ones that can provide any longer-term accommodation face transportation and assembly issues, require a professional workforce that is out of reach. The shelters tend to be fixed and finite, although the process of recovery is evolving, the population needs and numbers are changing. Many of the settlements end up being standardized ghettos, which is not only depressive, it's dangerous for people that just went through trauma. The settlements are dependent on existing infrastructure for basic operation and many times are abandoned after use. We are aiming to address those problems, working on a global system that however corresponds to the location. Using air-based infrastructure that stays relatively unaffected after a disaster event, we are looking into controlling air dropping as a deployment method. Using the falling stage as a self-building stage, we attempt to deliver ready-to-use shelter settlements to people. Once on the ground, we believe that shelters need to have the embedded flexibility to deal with uncertainty and change. Through having an adaptive and generative system, we are aiming to produce diverse spaces for human well-being. We think that self-sustainability is an important part of the disaster relief architecture, providing people with at least their basic needs. And after the city's recovery, the shelters can still play an important role in its ecosystem.